Okay, now we're going to look at um, something interesting about this uh, idea light panel. It's, uh, what do they call it, the RL300 Max. And uh, again, it's got um, pulsing and, and uh, dimmable modes. But uh, this one I noticed, so I'm going to check the intensity. And again, we've just got the near infrared on, so I don't blast my eyeballs out and have to put a flicker warning on the video. So we're at 46 uh, milliwatts per centimeter squared, just the near infrared on. We've got the Radex Lupin hooked up to the computer, so we're tracking this. Um, also, you know, very low flicker, if you can see that, like KP number, that's the flicker percentage. What's that? At 0 0.7, 0 0.8. Uh, very low flicker, and again, you can see that line for the oscilloscope just very flat, right? Like uh, I showed you the last video. Um, obviously, you get more of a the square wave when you've got the pulse mode on. Um, but that's the thing. So we got we're in continuous mode. We got 46 on here, and then what I noticed was now we're gonna set the pulse mode, which is fun. So we go down, we go to frequency. We, go. we increase this, and you have to do it one at a time. I'm just going to try to get to 40, but even that... How do I get to 40? And that's fun, and you can do this for 9,999, 9, so that's really fun to, to set. So, did I set it? Alright, I think it's set. Okay. So it's 40 hertz. Now, let's just look at the intensity. Let's retake this. And it, it's still 46, so I'd retake it again. So still pretty much 46, 45.9. Again, 45.7, 45.8. There's, there's practically no change, 46. So there's practically no change from the continuous. Uh, even though I, you know, if when I do have the red lights on, I can see it um, flashing. This one, I don't really see the flashing. But anyway. We go over here, this is why we, the flicker, the pulsing, or well, you know, flicker and pulsing, they're the same to me. Um, we got 40 hertz, so thank God what they actually hit the, the correct hertz this time. So Idealite can actually hit, hit a number. Uh, we set it for 40 and we, we measure 40, thank, thank goodness. Um, so anyway, but look at this, this flicker profile there's pulse flip profile now it's a very short blip of off time so like normally you get 50 percent on 50 percent off up down up down like a nice square this is just a blip down and then back on so you know this is like practically no um duty cycle so i don't know if if you call that zero or 100 percent, probably zero but so there's no duty cycle so it just blips and it's back on. So it's pretty much on the whole time and just blips uh, the, the, the flickers or the pulses. And so that's an interesting way to approach it. Again, I don't think you offset the intensity as much. You know, again, like most studies use 50% duty cycle or, or something, or they declare it. I've never seen something with practically no duty cycle and just blips it. Um, so again, you know, I don't know if, if this kind of pulsing is even in line with the science or, again, these companies are just doing whatever they can to check a box and say, oh, we're doing pulsing now. And, and some companies aren't, aren't even hitting the right things like escrow. This company's just probably using some sort of pulse width modulation flicker driver just to... And, and again, they're just checking boxes, but is it really even scientific? So I don't even, you don't get any decrease in intensity. You're just getting the pulsing. Again, I don't know, maybe you want that. I don't know what people, what what is the real uh, benefit here? Uh, you know, and everyone's gonna do a different thing. And some of the things aren't even close to being accurate. Um, you know, this is gonna be a very interesting uh, industry in a couple years when everyone thinks they're doing pulsing and, and the pulsing is just, the definition of pulsing is just gonna be so made up because people are gonna be making up new definitions for pulsing. Oh, this, this is 42. So we've got two measurements that actually confirm we get the right frequency. So thank goodness. I think, and in the higher frequencies, I was having trouble measuring because these little blips get shorter and shorter. So, you know, 
at some point at the nine 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 hertz are you even pulsing anymore so i'll i'll try to do more testing on that but you know everyone's going to try to change the definition of pulsing to fit their definition of pulsing because they had it horrendously wrong to begin with so again we got to like figure out what's what's going on with all these panels so uh hopefully this helps somebody and and doesn't just um further my own madness but uh thanks for tuning in <laughs>